Yeah. All right, welcome back. Uh, just about 819 right now, and uh, we have a special guest or two guests. Of course, Katie Borman's here from the uh, Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. It's an Easter tradition to hunt for eggs, eat some ham, and of course, head out to that Cheyenne Mountain Zoo that we were talking about. And uh, well, you've got the egg extravaganza. Good morning. How are you doing this good. today? Good. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you as well. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good times. And who did you bring? This I brought... furry little friend. Yeah, well, he is affectionately known <laughs> around the zoo as the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. Yep, his name is Brer. He lives in my big backyard with uh, <laughs> Al, the Vietnamese potbelly pig. Oh, a yes. A couple of okay. goats, some chickens, a turkey. Right. So it's kind of a touch and see family area where kids can interact with animals that they might see in their own backyard. So they can actually interact and, and come out and touch and play with yeah. the animals and everything? Yeah. And this Definitely. is Brer. Okay. And he's a California rabbit. He is a big boy, and zookeepers <laughs> want everybody to know no, he is not fat. <laughs> he is, they are just, just this plump. big. He's they just are plump. just yes. this big. He's about exactly. 11 and a half pounds, um, but he's a big, fluffy Easter bunny. Absolutely. And, and he's got the red eyes, too. That doesn't mean he's an albino, right? No, he's got all kinds of color. If you look at his nose and yeah. his ears and his feet, Hi. he's got color Hi. there. So Hi. he is not albino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you have all these uh, fun eggs down here. Can you tell us uh, where these came from? Yeah, do you have any guesses? These are from three different okay. species. I'm going to guess that's dinosaur. I'm going to guess that as uh, hen. And I'm going to guess that as uh, bunny. Uh, Am I wrong on all of them? But bunny eggs. Bunny eggs? I don't know. <laughs> this one is actually from well, a Well, the Cadbury emu. egg, he sits there and that he kind of... That is true. <laughs> he gets called that as well, the okay, Cadbury bunny. gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry. So that's an emu. This is an emu egg. So emus are actually the second largest bird in the world. So really? So that's why... Obviously, their eggs are that big. Good lord. A female can actually lay a clutch of about 11 to 18 of those huh. when she lays Not her a eggs. clutch like when you're going out to a party Not with a, purse. a lady. Okay, <laughs> all right, gotcha. And this one, this one is really cool. This is a penguin egg, and I like penguin. how pointy this is on the top there. Okay, excellent. Yep, and this is just plain old chicken. Okay, chicken so egg. I kind of got one of them right. I think I said <laughs> hen or chicken. You were so. close. Yeah. You were close. We actually have about 30 hens at the zoo and they can lay now that it's getting warmer out up yeah. to an egg a day and these are the types of eggs that we'll be handing out to the animals this saturday ah. for egg extravaganza and tell us a little bit about that uh, we've got fur flying in the it's, studios it's right everywhere. now so tell me about what other events we got coming up we have extravaganza of course this weekend this you can saturday. see the information there on your screen yeah, you but can, tell us a little bit about that you can actually decorate some hard-boiled easter okay. eggs for the animals the animals love getting the eggs oh, i bet we call it enrichment for them and enrichment <laughs> is any kind of special treat that would right. stimulate natural behavior so we actually hide the eggs around their exhibits. Oh. Kids can decorate them and then the zookeepers will go in and hide the eggs around their exhibits and the animals have to forage for them. That's so very you can nice. Check the and that happens and then the egg delivery goes from 11 to 3.30 so On the egg Saturday. decorating is from 10 to 12. And again, you have a whole bunch of stuff coming up besides this weekend. I mean, mark your calendars, right? We've got right. a whole bunch of things happening. Happening spring at <laughs> Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. <laughs> right, April right. 29th yeah. is Girl Scout Day. Right. So Girl Scouts from all over the state will be out at the zoo working on their badges. Okay. You do need to pre-purchase tickets for that through the Girl Scouts of Colorado. They okay. are available at the zoo. Good to know. And then, if you love rhinos, I do. Start saving your <laughs> aluminum <laughs> cans. I've never met a rhino, but I, I'm sure I would love them. Yeah. I, you come visit the, okay. when we get our new rhinos, and you okay. come visit them. Please. You'll love them too. May 5th is Cinco de Rhino. Cinco de Rhino. Save your aluminum cans. Drop them off at the zoo, and you can actually turn those cans into cash to help save wild African rhinos and Indonesian rhinos. Abs excellent. And of course, uh, all the information, cmzoo.org. And we have, thank you very much, Br'er Rabbit, for coming. <laughs> and Katie Borman's, of course, from the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And more information coming up. And I'm going to get this fur all off me. So <laughs> we'll happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. Uh, please. I can't wait to go to the zoo. <laughs> do you have penguins there, too? We sure do. That's why she brought the penguin egg, dummy. Yeah. Okay. I'm just yelling at myself right now, realizing that that's what she said.